Hi, I'm Kirsten and I'm a dietitian at Seattle Children's Hospital and I'm here to talk to you about sodium. Eating too much sodium can contribute to high blood pressure. Sodium is added to a lot of the foods that we eat, so it's important to know how much sodium is in the foods we buy at the store. A teaspoon of table salt has about 2,400 milligrams of sodium in it. That's all most of us need in an entire day. You can find out how much sodium is in something by reading the label on the food. Some foods are very low in sodium, such as fruits and vegetables. Some have much, much more, such as packaged, processed, frozen, and canned foods. Sodium is broken down into five categories, from very low sodium per serving to very high sodium per serving. Foods that have less than 35 milligrams of sodium per serving are considered very low in sodium, and foods that have greater than 500 milligrams of sodium per serving are considered very high in sodium. Tonight for dinner, we're making one of my family's favorites, spaghetti and green salad. I want to make it with as little sodium as possible, so I'm going to read the label on all the ingredients. I need to buy noodles, tomatoes, meat, and herbs for sauce, lettuce, and dressing for salad. Wow, there are a lot of sauces. 420 milligrams of sodium. 510 milligrams of sodium. You want to read the label from top to bottom. It's important to read the nutrition label to see which one has the lowest amount of sodium. First, start with serving size. It's really important to know what your serving size is, as often there are more than one serving per container. Then, go about halfway down the label and find the word sodium, which is measured in milligrams. Then, think about how many servings you're going to eat so you can figure out how much sodium you're eating. Most jarred sauces are high in sodium. An easy alternative is to make sauce with fresh or canned tomatoes. An important thing to remember is that a lot of canned foods are also high in sodium. So you want to look for the no salt added canned foods. This can of tomatoes has 260 milligrams of sodium per serving. The no salt added only has 15 milligrams of sodium per serving. That's a big difference. Seasoning packets are very high in sodium, so a better alternative is to use Italian herb seasoning or fresh herbs that contain no sodium. I usually go with ground beef, but let's go with ground turkey tonight. Oh, this one already has Italian seasoning in it. Let's see how much sodium is in. 620 milligrams of sodium per serving. Wow, that's a lot. Let's check out the regular ground turkey. This one only has 80 milligrams of sodium per serving. We'll go with this one. We're going to want some salad too. On to the produce department. One cup of lettuce has about 10 milligrams of sodium. That is very little of our daily sodium intake. We've covered a lot of things so far. So let's summarize what we've talked about today. Read the label from top to bottom and pay attention to portion sizes. Buy low sodium or no salt added canned foods where possible. Use fresh or dried herbs instead of seasoning packets that contain a lot of sodium. Now I have everything I need to make my family pasta and salad for dinner. And I made low sodium choices. Preparing meals at home is one of the best ways to control how much sodium you're putting into your body. You can decide on both the ingredient and the portion size.